Hey everybody, it's Lisa and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. So I'm recording this intro on my phone, so sorry if the quality is not amazing. But today I'm going to be showing you my completed reading nook that I have right here that I did and finished last week. I have my little doggy who took over my huge bean bag. She's six pounds, but she's pretty much claimed it as her own. Um, I was supposed to go to work today, but I'm actually sick. So they told me to stay home because I have a really bad headache. I've been throwing up all night and I have a slight fever. So I feel like absolute crap right now, but I wanted to go ahead and record this intro. Basically, I finished my dream reading nook. I absolutely love it. I've posted pictures and everybody else seems to love it too. So let's just go ahead and get started. Hey everybody, it's Lissa and welcome to part two of my me creating my book nook in the corner of my room. If you didn't see the first part, then make sure to check that out. I will put it up in the cards above and in the description box below so you guys can check that out before you watch this one. I know I look disgusting and you could probably see the dry shampoo in my hair, but since when do I even try to look good in videos anymore if we're, if we're being completely honest? So I have pretty much everything done except for the lights, a couple pictures I need to hang up over here, and, and setting up my huge bean bag that's going to go on the floor. It's been two weeks and my bean bag is finally coming today. It was supposed to take two days Amazon Prime but it took two weeks instead. But that's being delivered today so while I'm waiting for that to be delivered I'm gonna start hanging up the lights. I'm gonna hang up this sign right here that says books hold all the magic. And I'm going to put a quote on this letter board right here and it's probably going to be a quote from The Mortal Instruments because that is the series that I'm reading right now and I think I'm going to change the quote every single time I change the book series that I'm reading so it goes with whatever I'm reading during that time. So as you guys can see I've already hung up my little Christmas tree in my room and that'll be shown on my Vlogmas episode where I decorate my house for Christmas. I have this big light set right here. I believe I got them from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. They're just like some nice soft orange lights, LED lights. And I used to have these around the ceiling of my bedroom a long time ago and I've had them in storage ever since and they're pretty long. So I think I'm just gonna try to connect all three of my bookcases with these lights because I think they're pretty long enough. And honestly, to keep the lights held up, I'm just going to use some normal clear scotch tape just to hold the lights up because why not? I'm not gonna use like some fancy hooks when I can just use that. So the lights are done. They start from the bottom of this bookshelf and it goes up and then I start going down here and it just goes up. I need to buy some more to go to the top and then run down to this bookshelf. But I have my Christmas tree right there so I feel like it looks good right now. Let me turn off my studio lights so you guys can really see what it looks like. So for some reason the camera's not picking up the lights like perfectly. It'll look dark for a second. But here is what the lights look like. That is so weird how my camera picks up LED lights. As you can see, there's like a black line in the middle of the screen. I don't even know if you can see it. But it makes it look like the lights are shining at certain spots. I don't know why my camera's doing that. But it would the lights would pick up so much better if my camera actually picked it up. But the lights are done. So I'm going to hang stuff up right here. I'm just going to keep my YouTube play button in the middle because I don't want to reposition those screws in the wall. So I'm going to put my Beauty and the Beast one up here and then my letter board right here. And then sooner or later I can just fill up the other spaces of like book posters, book quotes, anything like that. I just covered up the holes in the wall with a Sorted Online poster right there but I'm sure I'll add something different there in the future. 
So I'm going to be using the quote from Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare because I'm reading The Infernal Devices right now. One must always be careful of books and what is inside them, for words have the power to change us. So I probably can't fit the entire thing, but I'm gonna put for words have the power to change us and then change is gonna be in cursive. So as you guys can see, the bean bag came in the mail. It's so heavy, so my dad had to carry it upstairs. Like, there's no way I could even pick it up. Like, it, it's too heavy to even, like, bend like that. So guys, honestly, this seems like it's going to take absolutely forever for it to even expand because it's like packed and you can barely even pull the foam out. But you can feel the little foam pieces that you, you're supposed to like tear to make into smaller pieces to make it fluffier. There was a lot of complaints in the reviews of the strong chemical smell that it has. I honestly, there is a smell to it, but it's not like too strong where it's like unbearable. It kind of just smells like a furniture store, like if you've ever been to a furniture store, that's how this smells. But over time, it's supposed to unexpand itself. So I also saw in a lot of the reviews that people were complaining that it wouldn't expand, but they would do the review the first day they got it, and it takes up to five days for it to fully be its, like, biggest size. So, oh, see, so you can unzip it and you can start pulling it apart by the zipper right here. You can unzip it and start undoing the foam. I don't know if you guys can see what this foam looks like, but it's like an actual mess. So I'm gonna try not to make the biggest mess in the world, but also try to fluff this up at the same time. It's just full. Perfect. 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 So it's like an hour later and I pulled apart the foam as best as I could. So it's already pretty fluffy right now, but obviously it's going to get a lot bigger this a lot bigger than this in the next couple days, but I'm going to go ahead and put the cover on it. I feel like it honestly would have been easier to put this cover on with it all scrunched up in that tight square. But I guess I'll just try to put it on this way. This is probably a job for two people. <laughs> like conforming to my body. I already love this so much and you can see how big it's gotten. 
this is not sponsored by this company like at all I spent I actually bought the more expensive one which I said I wasn't gonna do but I did so I spent almost $300 on this stupid thing so this is not sponsored and they don't even know I'm making this video but I already absolutely love this and the cover is machine washable which is great because it's white so that means definitely going to need to wash it a couple times but I'm not gonna lay in it for a couple more days so I can get to its full length I feel like maybe I bought one that's way too big for this corner and I'm gonna keep it more over to this side for the bookshelf I don't like just to cover my little storage shelf over here but now I have this huge foam mess so I'm going to pick everything off the floor and vacuum so this takes up a lot more room than I expected so I don't know where necessarily to put this rug so I feel like I'm just gonna put it like right here but the rug matches my bean bag perfectly and I love that so as you guys can see I can sit on the bean bag and have my feet out right here and it have like a little reading thing obviously the bean bag is not puffed up all the way yet but I have my pillow and like the lighting is awful and obviously the fish tanks totally like ruin the lighting maybe if I turn that off there we go you can see how relaxing this is and why is my camera so bad why does my camera do that I don't know why it does that I don't use a DSLR anymore so this camera is not the best at picking up light as you what as you guys can see I'm getting this part from my phone so you can actually see what the lights look like because my camera was just acting weird but I posted pictures on Instagram already so I have my pretty rug the bean bag which is already huge and it's supposed to get even bigger in the next couple days then I have my bookcase from Amazon Ikea I think this one's from Amazon as well my Christmas tree record player and then my letter board that says words have the power to change us and it's from and it's Cassandra Clare my YouTube play button and letter and then books hold all the magic and then a random sort of online poster but I think I'm gonna fill up this whole space with different stuff it's empty right now but and then down here I have as long as there's life there's hope pillow and this really soft purple blanket my ukulele and I'm probably going to get some more lights. I don't know though. I feel like this looks really pretty the way it is. Maybe just add some more across this shelf and possibly add to that one as well. But I am absolutely in love with this corner of my room. It is perfect. It is so comfy and I can't wait to sit in this and just read. Do anything basically. I'll probably just use that as another bed. And I have another space in my room where people can sit down if I have friends over to hang out or anything like that. So it's time to open the next pair of Harry Potter socks. So today is day three. So day three is right here. It looks like it has to do with Gryffindor. So it's another pair of crew socks, just like the Slytherin ones were, but these say Gryffindor on the front. So they're basically the same as the ones from day two, except they have the Gryffindor symbol. I think I like these a little bit better because of the coloring. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me creating my reading nook. It was super fun to do. Um, eventually I'll be getting a bigger, another Ikea bookcase to go right here. So it looks more, I guess, uniform and like the same size as bookcases. So I'll probably get one of those soon. But it was really fun to do. I feel like crap right now, so I just kind of want to end this video. But I just wanted to go ahead and read the comment of the day. I just picked a random one from the last video. And it's from Edith Bravo, and she said, I've been looking forward to this since Vlogmas last year. So I'm reading this from the Vlogmas Day 1 video because Vlogmas Day 2 hasn't even come up yet and been uploaded. So I can't read comments from that video. But thank you so much, Edith, for commenting that. I know a lot of you guys have been watching my Vlogmas from last year because you didn't know if I was going to do it again this year. But I am. So I appreciate that so much. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Vlogmas episode, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.